It's been a whole year since the pandemic hit. Quarantine has stopped all forms of physical attendance for events such as sports games, concerts, performances, and the like. As such, will we ever see these events again? As many of us have personally experienced, these difficult times have led to an unorthodox absence of many beloved events. But with technological advances like Zoom, can we replicate and bring back these social events that we all know and love? As of January 24th, there are over 40 million confirmed cases of COVID-19. When it will it be safe enough for things to go back to the way they were? We have with us Jade, an in-person event organizer. Jade, how has COVID-19 affected your already existing event schedule? As someone who runs in-person events, COVID-19 means I have to postpone both the tournaments I currently run and the tournaments that I'm planning to run. Even though the venues are open and the space is available, it just isn't safe to go outside. Social gatherings have been relegated to online spaces in order to adhere to social distancing regulations. Now we have Kevin, an in-person event organizer who's recently gone digital. Kevin, as someone that has transitioned into the virtual space, what advantages and disadvantages do you face when planning a virtual event? The biggest advantage of online events is that you don't have to have the overhead of putting together a venue uh, to accommodate hundreds of players and people can play from the comfort of their own homes from virtually anywhere. The biggest disadvantage would have to be that because not everybody's in the same place, you lose half of the experience and the energy of having all these people together, uh, the social component of the event. Popular games like Fortnite have collaborated with other popular artists like Travis Scott to bring one-of-a-kind interactive virtual concerts. Post Malone has also found success with this online format, as the virtual concert collaboration between himself and popular game developer Nintendo had peaked at over 150,000 concurrent viewers. As more people become vaccinated, the situation regarding event attendance will develop more clearly. Stay alert to the CDC updates for more information regarding social distancing regulations and guidance. At Cal State University Fullerton in Fullerton, Ignacio Nieves, CSUF News, signing off.